Um, can I have the mini desserts? Thank you. You too. And welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. Today we're going to be doing a cheat day where I just eat whatever I want. There's a few places I have in mind, but this morning we're doing a little pre-game. Um, we're going to start with Krispy Kremes because they have these new small dessert donuts. Now one of them they did not have and that was the birthday cake. So these are the ones that we have here. I don't even know the names of them, but these little donuts look kind of good and it really is like equal to one and a half donuts these are going to be literally one bites i didn't want to do too much because right after this i have to go see my orthodontist for i think my last set of trays i think and my appointment is at 8 30 right now it is eight o'clock we're about 15 minutes away so we are on perfect time so let's just get right into these little mini donuts i don't know the name of this but i'm gonna pop it up on the screen and this little guy it's pretty cute i'm gonna try to cherish this and not do this in one bite Oh yeah. Oh, that is lemon. That is really good. This is a diet donut. If you can only have one donut. Wow. That little donut is packed full of flavor. Oh, that was really good. So here's the next one. There's a little squirt of cream cheese right in the middle. And I'm gonna guess, this might be a raspberry cheesecake. That's just my guess. Again, it is packed full of flavor. Mm. Okay, so that's half the donuts done. Lastly, for the mini dessert donut, is gonna be this. I'm going to assume this might be peanut butter chocolate because it looks like that's peanut butter around it and then obviously chocolate. And then for our very last donut, the mini glaze. This one, we'll just do in one bite, get it over with. And that might be the fastest eating segment that I have ever done. It's 8.04 now. So the total eating time was probably like two minutes. So I'm actually done earlier than I thought. The next breakfast spot we're gonna be picking up is gonna be a Argentinian Venezuelan bakery. Uh, I recently discovered this place. It has so much crazy good stuff and I've already pre-ordered it for pickup around 9.30 so I should have perfect amount of time to pick it up, take it home, and then have our second portion of breakfast. And that's it for the pregame. I will see you after my orthodontist appointment. Alright guys, so we have our food. I am excited because this is the first time trying Crocantina and uh, I'll see you back at home. Alright guys, so breakfast number two is ready to eat. My stomach is rumbling and boy does this look all magnificent. However, they didn't have the quiche, uh, but they did make up for that for giving me an extra empanada, which I'm not complaining about. And then we have also two extra apple turnovers. So I already have one in the box. We have two more. So shout out to Crocantina for hooking me up with extras. Empanadas, I absolutely love and it has been so long since I've had a really good empanada and I can tell these ones are going to be fantastic. And we're also going to throw in Livia's product, Grand Snacks, which this video is sponsored by. Not really, I'm just here to support her. The carrot craze, as weird as it sounds, it's actually fantastic. It has a really nice cinnamon flavor to it. Also carrot, but we're gonna dig into that after we dig into some of this. But boy, I am excited for this. First time trying this bakery and let's just get into it. And I'll go over it as I eat. But first, we're gonna start with this empanada right here. And this is going to be a spicy beef empanada. Here's a little close up look at it. It is magnificent. Break into this and see what the insides look like. This is not a beef empanada. This is actually a spinach and cheese empanada. And I'm guessing this one's gonna be the beef empanada because I can definitely smell the beef. So let's go ahead and try this one. Mm. That is savory. 
and the outside shell is nice and crispy and flaky. Yes. So far we're on a good start, but I have to dig into this one. That empanada was expeditiously scrumptious. Yeah, this one is the spicy beef empanada. Oh, that smells so good. Here's the insides. I think there might be some potatoes in here too. No, it's not potatoes. Mmm. Oh, wow, this is a 10 out of 10. Oh, this is so good. It just melts in the mouth. Mm. I think we have another five-star bakery. We're only, mm. We're only two pastries in, so I can't get ahead of myself. All right, so as far as the empanadas, that spicy beef, 10 out of 10. Amazing, amazing. The cheese and spinach one, I give it a nine out of 10. Now we're gonna get into this right here. It's called a cachapa. Now, I don't know if that's the correct way to say it. Forgive me if I am saying it incorrectly, but look at how crazy this looks. It's a pancake. I'm not sure what kind of pancake it is, but it's a pancake with some whipped cream in the middle. I saw the photos and I thought that I had to try it because this is something I've never tried before. If I'm looking at the actual breading, the pancake, it maybe looks like a corn, it maybe looks like corn. Honestly, I have no idea what it is, but it has a thick and chewy texture. I'm kind of digging the flavor of the pancake. Now we have some of the whipped cream in the middle. I have to taste that. The reason why I kept saying whipped cream was because when I ordered it online, it said that the whipped cream came with it, but it came on the side, not on the inside of the pancake. That's obviously cheese. So just saying. I thought the whipped cream in the middle was going to be actual whipped cream, but it, it's almost like a cheese consistency. The same texture of maybe like a mozzarella cheese. It's sweet and I have also a side right here. I don't need that. I need a few more bites of this. So I had to know what that middle part of the cachapas was. Long story short, it was cheese. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. I liked it first time trying it. A little salty, a little sweet. I would definitely eat it again. These apple turnovers are tiny. I know, I know. I thought they were like gonna be this big. Yeah, well, they didn't have the quiche, so they gave me three apple turnovers and two empanadas. Okay, so moving along, we'll go ahead and put this out a frame and we're gonna go with this right here which is called a ham and cheese cachitos i'll only say that once because i don't want to hurt your guys' ears but this is crazy looking it just looks like a bread roll like a hoagie but on the inside we have ham and we have cheese now on the photo it looked like it was glazed with like a sweet layer but it, i don't know about this maybe it was And for the cachitos, this is pleasantly good as well. Hmm. Reminds me of just like a breakfast sandwich. I can dig it. So we have French toast right here. And I gotta say these strawberries here are the sweetest strawberries I've ever tasted. They are so damn good. I wonder if they put, like if they put sugar on them to make them extra sweet or they're just naturally sweet. Cause I've never had a strawberry from Walmart that's ever tasted this sweet or good. But we're gonna save this towards the end. We are now on to the pastries part of breakfast. Now here we go. We have a little box that's full of some goodies. Now I think first we're gonna start with the croissants. Now this is a sweet croissant or a media luna, which I think is the traditional name, but it's a little baby croissant. Mm. And this one does have that nice shine to it. 
This is a wonderful croissant. The dome side of it is nice, light and fluffy, and the outside is sweet and flaky. But that sweetness really puts it over the edge. I can eat one of those every morning for the rest of my life and be fine. Now I have three apple turnovers and these are just as flaky as the croissants. So a few things that I love about it already, they powder sugar the top of it. And so when you bite into it, you can taste the sweetness on the outside shell. And I love how flaky it is and the apple obviously on the inside, it's magnificent. And for our last pastry, this is called the margaritas. And this has custard and jelly. And this thing looks just as good as everything I've eaten so far. Mm, nice and soft, beautiful texture. And that's a wrap on the pastries. We'll move this out of the way. And before we get into the French toast, we're gonna go ahead and open this Graham Snacks pouch right here. Boom, here's a good look at it. Ooh, that smells. Oh, boy, if you guys try the carrot cake, and don't be hesitant on it. If you guys order this, I promise you, you will not go wrong. Once you open this and smell that, it smells fantastic. And you can literally eat this with anything. If you want to put it in your yogurt and just break it apart like that, you can put it ice cream, you can eat this as cereal, I do. Mm. Or you can just put it on French toast, which I'm, I think I might do that. Mm. However, I think I need to be fair and try this as is without the syrup as well, because I want to taste the overall French toast to see if there's any difference to a regular French toast. Strawberry. I would say the French toast is just your typical French toast. It's good. But you'll probably want to use some syrup. And boy, those strawberries hit. We'll just add some crumbs on top of that. Some broken up ranch snacks. Carrot cake granola on strawberry French toast. That doesn't sound bad. And now I get a crunchy texture, which I like. And that's breakfast round two. Definitely a good decision, sprinkling some of that carrot craze on top of that French toast. And if you guys are interested in trying Olivia's company, Grand Snacks, the link is always in the description. She would appreciate your guys' support, and so would I. I am genuinely super proud of her. I've said this in previous videos, I'm just super proud of her, that she stuck with it and she's continuing to do it. And as far as Crow Cantina, I love this bakery. I will definitely go back. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to go get my next meal, but Livia just came home and showed me some goodies. They're not for me, they're for her, but I'm mad That's jealous. Not true, There's, I got something for you too, but for tomorrow? look at this, yeah, for my video tomorrow. This is for her video this tomorrow. This is a croissant goodness going on, and there's Ooh. a Pop-Tart, and one of the one of the Pop-Tarts is for you. Sweet, and this looks good. I'm. I mean, I had my bakery goods, but I am a little jealous. It smells really good, huh? It does. And I've only had that bakery once, and it's called the Rustic Sweet Bakery. And I gave them a 10 out of 10 as far as bakery. And you're just gonna be here with the girls, right? Yeah, I will. I'll wash okay. them or something. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye bye.
right guys, so we have our food from Charlie's Philly Steaks. Now this is the first time trying it. Every time Libby and I go to the mall, we always pass by this restaurant and I'm always wanting to try it, but I always forget. This time I put it in my notes not to forget. And finally, we are trying it for the first time. For my sandwich, I went with a prime barbecue steak. Now I can't lie to you, this doesn't look like it has any barbecue on it whatsoever. It looks like it's missing it and I'm assuming that if it's called a barbecue steak, it would have barbecue sauce on it somewhere. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe these steaks actually flavored barbecue flavor. I don't know, we'll see. But the food is still warm and I am ready to eat this. There you go, let's try it. Mm. It's humid in this car. Mm. I got sweet tea too and this is way too sweet for me. So this is definitely barbecue. Um, it doesn't look like there's barbecue sauce in it, but the steak on the inside is definitely flavored. And I gotta say, it's it's pretty good, but on the photos for this place, I thought this was gonna be like three times the size of this. It's definitely packed with flavors, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this half. So now that we're done with half the sandwich, it's a pretty good sandwich. I would go back for sure, but if I went back, I would make sure that I would double meat it. There is a good amount of meat in it, but I just wanted more meat like on the photo. So I have this other half right here. I'm actually gonna stick this right here and we're gonna try the fries because the fries are fresh and I have yet to eat any of these. So they're the the thick cut fries, which I, I like thick cut fries. I have some ketchup right here and I'm gonna go smother ketchup all over them or just put it on the side. I think they're perfectly salted, not too much, not too little, perfect. They're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. That's the way I like them because they have some girth to them. So far, Charlie's, in my opinion, is a banger. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this now and then we'll just continue with the fries. So that's it for the sandwich. I contemplated on getting two of them. Um, the reason why I didn't was because I didn't want to kill myself today. I was going to make this into like a calorie cheat day, maybe like 10,000 or 12,000. But midday, I was like, nah, it's not gonna happen. I just, it's not in the cards. We'll end up doing a higher calorie cheat day uh, probably next week. Those days are torturous sometimes, all the time. It's not a fun day. I feel really greasy right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I feel humid right now. It's very nice outside. And as far as Charlie's, I think they have some great sandwiches. Or I only tried one sandwich, but I'm thinking I might do a menu challenge at Charlie's and try all of their sandwiches. I think they maybe offer uh, maybe eight. And the sandwich that I got was a full size sandwich and it wasn't really that big. And I would actually say Subway's footlongs might be bigger than those ones. And I did eight Subway footlongs in the past. Anyways, really enjoyed it. That's gonna be it for lunch. And we have one more meal to go. So we just got done ordering our next meal for delivery since I do not wanna leave the house anymore for the day. I am burnt and I just wanna stay home and kind of relax. But the next place is gonna be Chick-fil-A. Now, Chick-fil-A just came out with this spicy deluxe chicken sandwich, and I really wanna taste it. A lot of you guys know that I am obsessing over chicken sandwiches. I, I just love chicken sandwiches, and I'm on a quest to find the best one. Now, I have had Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches plenty of time, but when there's something new, even if it's a little tweak, 
I just want to try it. So I went ahead and ordered three different spicy chicken sandwiches to see if there's any difference between any three of them. Also, I didn't know that Chick-fil-A had shakes. So we went ahead and threw a shake in there and a couple other goodies. So the food should be here in about, I want to say 30, 45 minutes. It's not that far, but Chick-fil-A is always busy. And we'll update you when it's... That was quick. I guess it's already here. So we're at the last meal of the day and there's no better way to end it than with Chick-fil-A. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Cool. Anyways, I think they gave me enough bags, but to be honest, it made for a good thumbnail. So I kind of like these there. We'll get rid of this bag and actually put that there so we can use it for trash. So in front of me, I have three of Chick-fil-A's spicy chicken sandwiches. One of them is brand new on the menu, which is going to be the spicy grilled. Uh, it's going to be this one. So I'm probably going to start with that. We have a yogurt parfait. We have some macaroni and cheese. I've never had it from Chick-fil-A. So I love mac and cheese. Had to include that. Fries. And we have a strawberry shake. Okay. So I can say that the strawberry shake, two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong with a strawberry shake. And we'll go ahead and start with the spicy grilled chicken sandwich and there it is it looks like it has maybe pepper jack cheese in it lettuce tomatoes and the bun kind of looks like wheat spicier than i was thinking i didn't think it was going to be spicy at all a nice zing to it This is a mighty good chicken sandwich. Mm. The flavor of the chicken is on point and the spice of it is on point. If I was gonna put it on a scale, I'd put the spice level at six out of 10. Now that it's been a few days, I would actually put that on more of a seven out of 10 spice scale. The new a spicy grilled chicken sandwich. I have a zing right now. Nine out of 10. That was, that might be the best chicken sandwich I've had at Chick-fil-A. So now that we're done with the new item, I'm gonna try some of this yogurt. You know what would be a good idea to add to this yogurt? Some grand snacks. This is a perfect way to eat granola in yogurt. They, also, they, they actually gave me granola here, but this is plain. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that exotic granola. So there you can see the entire top layer is covered. That's perfect. And I think I need a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna save some of the parfait towards the end and we'll dig into another chicken sandwich. And that's going to be, this one pretty much just comes with the chicken, bun, and chicken. Now it usually comes with pickles. I deleted the pickles. I feel like I shouldn't even need to say that anymore. We'll go ahead and add a condiment on top of there. Ketchup. These have been in the fridge for, God, I don't even know how long. Maybe a few years. Squish that. Two bites in and the level of spice in this compared to the first one we started with it's night and day this I feel has no spice if you had given me this chicken sandwich and you didn't tell me it was a spicy chicken sandwich I would never know I'm telling you food right now at this current moment is tasting extra good, but that could be because I had a glass of wine with Livia maybe an hour ago. So food right now, is just tasting fantastic. Do not drink. And now for the infamous Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Mm. I really love these waffle fries. I don't, mm, I don't think there's too many places that does waffle fries or at least too many fast food places that does waffle fries that I can think of as of right now.
And for the last, the chicken sandwich. Now this is the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich with pepper jack cheese. And I think it has a pepper jack sauce. I thought I read that on the website. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't have any sauce. But let's go ahead and try this. I really don't taste the spice in this one either. On a spice level, I'd put this at a three out of 10. It's very subtle. And as far as the best chicken sandwich out of the three, the first one by a mile. This one second and the plain spicy chicken third. But they're all, they're all pretty good. Also, the first sandwich, A tier list. And now the macaroni and cheese. I've been wanting to try this ever since I opened the lid. Ooh, smells exactly like macaroni and cheese. And last but not least, the parfait with the grand snacks in it. Oh, there's blueberries, strawberries in here too. We will finish the last of the shake. And that is a wrap on today's cheat day. Super chill, super relaxed, and go ahead and end it off, Nate. And that, my friends, is today's video. Who doesn't love Chick-fil-A in a perfect way to end a chill and relaxed cheat day? So I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys are staying safe. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. It is completely free. Like the video if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.